what is up guys this is your jedi master the melted jedi hope everybody's doing well today with the recent release of seven days to die 1.0 uh update i thought i would make a little video here and what we're going to do today is we're going to actually set up a server um on g portal and then we're also going to take a look at some of the admin commands and things like that once you actually get in the game over on g portal so we can rent a uh, seven days to die server we've got a 30 day option a 90 day option a 30 day 30 slot option um a lot of people are probably going to just go for the 30 day 10 slots 1372 now this is going to be different per uh your location so let's say if we go ahead and hit order now uh, you can go ahead and sign up if you don't already have an account i already have an account so i'm going to switch over to that and i will be right back also don't forget that down in the description and i'll also put a link in the comments as well uh, if you want to purchase a server through g portal i actually have a link that will give you a discount so go ahead and make sure you check that out and get yourself a uh a server set up today okay so we're here on my dashboard i'm going to add another server that i have to my list of servers we're going to have to pick a slot so we're going to choose 10 slots let's see it says done it's going to refresh here for me i've seen stopped let's go ahead and pop in here and take a look at uh what we got going on with the server guys all right after a couple minutes of just uh kind of letting it set up everything we kind of went back to the dashboard and here is our server we can see the uh, server is currently stopped here and um we also have a, a how to here so let's go ahead and open that up in a new uh window and we'll take a look at that in a bit down below that i'm not going to show here but there is some access information for things like ftp um you know how you can access the server in a few different ways all your server information will be down at the, the bottom of this uh you know status page but let's jump into the basic settings here this is kind of where all your bread and butter settings are at we also have extended settings down here um server name you're gonna want to give it a server name so it doesn't say my game host or whatever it says there okay let's type in melts seven days apologize i'm a little under the weather right now if i sound a little weird or off that's because uh a little little thing going on but no big deal now we need to take a look at the instructions on how to take admin on your server so this is how to become a game admin basically what you want to do is you want to log in to your g portal uh website click on my servers and the menu on the left make sure you pick your seven days to die server uh, and then on the left, there'll be a file manager. We'll take a look here in just a second. You follow the path, saves, saves, serveradmin.xml. So that will be a file that we will edit with a uh, specific ID code that we'll put in there. Uh, you configure the file and then you restart the server after you save the changes. So we'll take a look at how to do that here in just a second. First, we need to look up steamid.io. This link will be down in the description below so make sure you uh, check that out to get your steam id you need the steam 64 id specifically so let's say if you go to steamid.io and you type in billy all right just billy so this is uh this is their steam id you can click on this thing to copy it it's the one that says 64 steam id 64 so hopefully you can see that there so yeah, you would copy this here and then we would go over to our server. On the left, you'll find the file manager. So you gotta find your things that says saves. Open, double click to open that up. Down here, it says saves again. Double click to open that up. And then you see the server admin.xml. Basically, if you open, double click that, you can edit it. My browser's freaking the hell out um this gives you all the information you need but basically down here there will be a commented out so all this stuff that you see is green has this uh exclamation point and a dash dash in front of it you take that out to enter this in so steam id you pop in your steam id there 
you give it a name and a permission level. I set mine to a thousand. So we're gonna make sure this works, but uh, all, we also want to make sure that you save it. Uh, I need to enter issue a correction from uh, just a bit ago. Um, I said that I was gonna enter a thousand, which you need, you need to enter if you want a uh, admin in the file that we edited um, is zero for an admin. A thousand is actually the lowest um, permission that you can have. So I had it kind of backwards in my head there, but uh, yeah, enter zero and hit save and you'll be all good on your permission there. All right, guys, welcome back in. I had to, uh, I had to re-record this part because the way it was capturing the game looked all laggy. The game really isn't the primary thing, but I don't want to look all laggy for you because that would be, that would be no bueno, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we're going to go over some of the commands uh and basically we are in our fresh server here you see, see it's actually day one uh the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and press f1 you will get a console that looks like this up at the top uh you'll have some little tiny text that you can type in here first thing we're going to do is type in dm kind of like dungeon master what that actually means debug mode and you actually know it's on if you hit escape and you see this stuff over here on the side normally you won't have this stuff you won't have fly mode god mode no collision invisible all that sort of stuff so let's do that here uh i'm actually in fly mode right now i can press space i can press uh what is a c to go back down i think you go under the world though so be careful about that make sure you're above the world when you turn off uh flyboy mode so all right so that's the first thing you can also do um, F1 and type in CM. And then that is a creative mode. Creative mode on. And to just make sure that that says creative mode is on. I'm going to actually turn creative mode back off. And then um, the next thing we're going to look at is set time. So what you can do is if you know the uh, command. And I'm going to give you a list of commands, a uh, URL link. Uh, down in the description as well as the comments. I'll put it as a pinned comment too. Um, there will be some links to a list of like all the commands. So make sure you check that out. Uh, that'll help you out with commands that you're trying to look for. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to type in help. You can type in help in front of any of the commands. So uh, set time is all one word. Help set time. There we go. So the usage is set time day, set time night, set time time, or set time day, hour, or minute. If we go set time day, it sets time to 1200 hours. If we go to set time night, that sets it to 24 hours. You can see where we're completely nighttime now. We can also do set time, um, 12, is it zero, zero, zero? Okay. So that sets us back to noon. That is just a direct set time. You can also change the day with this. So if you go set time and you give it a day argument, so we want hour and then the minute, I think we do 1200 and then zero. Let's try that. Must be less than 23. Um, so this would be 12. Oh, oh. Set time. Day three, 12, oh, two, 12, oh. Yeah, it's counting up now. I heard a little zombo, but I should be, uh, I should be actually invisible and God mode. So, uh, we can look at the weather. So let's do help weather. Now this one seems a little weird. So if it says rain, like it says clouds, fog, fog color, rain, wet. Um, let's go rain, weather, rain, one. Do we get for processing weather command? Rain set to one. Oh, there it is. It may be a little hard to see. But it's coming down. Yeah, you can hear it. You can also press up to get to your previous commands. So uh, uh, your up key, like, you know, your arrow keys. 
Uh, press up. I'm going to do this uh, wet command with a one after it. Wetness set to one. So I think that just make, makes the ground all wet like it's previously rained or whatever. Is you can hit your F1 and you can type in kill all. And this is just going to destroy all the zombies in the area. So uh, that's just going to... You know, if you're if you're working on something as an admin, you don't want bothered. You can go into a visible mode or god mode, and then you can do a kill all or kill everything that kind of around you. I don't know if it kills everything on the map or not. Um, it might just probably be in an area around you, is what I had to guess. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to let me know if you um, if you want videos on anything else like uh, mods or uh, additional guides on anything like that let me know in the comments down below and uh yeah don't forget to subscribe if you want some more also make sure you check out my link down below for a discount on g portal servers until next time guys as always keep it melted